Well, in unsurprising news, because we can't honestly say we're surprised, President Jacob Zuma has sweet-talked government departments into funding about 900 million rand to a private NGO that he's the chairman of, and he sees absolutely nothing wrong with it. Chairman, chairman, like Chairman Mao. Sukumani nonke, which means let, let's all get up together and, and, and praise the man from Ankandla. But if that's not enough, the NGO is run by his cousin Dibo Mzobe. Dibo. Remember Dibo from that movie Friday? That Dibo character who would ride around on his bicycle robbing any human being with any currency or gold. Remember that guy? I mean, of course, these two things are unrelated, but I'm just saying, you know, if you're going to name your child Debo, then what are you, what do you, what you expect? Yeah, he's going to Debo rise. Huh? The goal of the NGO, Mazbambisane, is to eradicate hunger in rural areas by funding emerging farmers. Now, now, I don't know, is it just me or isn't, the government's, isn't it the government's job to eradicate hunger and, and not to outsource it to the president and his cousin Debo huh? so that they can Debo rise the money? Why government needs the help of an NGO to dispense money to emerging farmers? Yo, man, the president has no etiquette. Absolutely no etiquette. I mean, if South Africa was a dinner table, then he has no table manners. Huh? Talking about table manners, we should be grateful he didn't outsource this food supply gig to his nephew. You know that one. His name starts with cool and ends with um, uh, fat. Anyway, in our country, we have opportunities for poor people of all races, black, white, and Latino. I mean, sorry, I mean colored. Last week, the president went and gave poor white people who lived in shacks houses. Huh? From shacks to houses, Baba. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with giving poor white people uh, houses, but uh, should we not check the database to see what, uh, what people did during apartheid? I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Something tells me that, that some of these people given these houses were probably using the K-word just moments before Father Christmas from Nkanda arrived with, with house keys. Hmm? Eh? I appreciate it from the deepest of my heart what the ANC and the government and Mr. President did for us. For the poor, he gave us what we needed. I'm very grateful for it. Yo, how times have changed. How much do you want to bet that the words Buzz Jacob were uttered by that man just before the camera started rolling? Eh? I mean, I guess no one is, uh, is above a free ANC t-shirt. Hmm? Meanwhile, down the road, a certain community had heard that the president was giving away free houses and waited patiently for the blue lights convoy to arrive. Eh? They, must have, they must have stood there, had the, you know, the convoy, and they started urinating themselves. And then they saw the convoy drive past. Less than a kilometer away, another community is fuming over Zuma's visit. Some have been waiting for RTP houses for more than a decade. I guess you guys just got flushed down the toilet like a used condom. What do you expect? It's time for elections, Baba. People got to make plans. News that moves. ENCA.com.